Alright, welcome to the video guys. In this video, we're going to be going over CompTIA A+, 1101 port numbers quiz. So, I did make this quiz totally custom for you guys. Um, again, like I said, if you guys want me to make any other quiz content uh, pertaining to CompTIA trifecta, uh, A+, Net+, or Security+, I'll be happy to make those for you guys. Uh, I don't have any knowledge on any of the mid-tier exams yet, but possibly in the future we can get around to that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first question, which port allows data transmission over an encrypted network? So we have 3389, 80, 69, or 443. So the correct answer for this one would be 443. Port 80 is the unsecure version of HTTPS, which is HTTP. Second question, a remote user needs to securely access a server through a terminal-based solution. Which protocol best serves this need? So to securely access this, what we would use, well, first of all, let's go over our options. We have 22, 23, 20, 21, and 53. So to securely access this, what we would use is SSH or port 22. We would not use 23 because that is Telnet and it is insecure and shows plain text. Question three, you're working a help desk and need to assist a user remotely by connecting to their desktop computer's GUI to install an update. Which protocol is the best use case? So we have 1701, 110, 3389 or 998 so the best possible answer for this one is going to be 3389 which is RDP remote desktop protocol question 4 what is the unsecured version of port 443 that sends information over a network in clear text so we have 6768 23 143 or 80 so, like we just went over in the other question, and also to remember this, in CompTIA exams, a lot of the uh, multiple choice questions, some of them will help you answer other ones. So, if you got a little confused, and one question may help you answer another one. But to get back to this, the unsecure version of port 443 is going to be port 80, which is HTTP. Like I said before, the secure version of HTTP is HTTPS, which is 443. Question five: A user needs to set up a um, <laughs> a user needs to set up a mail server that can send outbound mail messages. Which port would best support this need? So we have port 389, 445, 25, or 110. So keyword is send outbound email. Some people may get this wrong because they would think uh, 110 because that's pop three, but we know that. POP3 is used to receive mail, not send mail. So in order to send mail, we're going to use uh, SMTP. An easy way to remember this is uh, like an acronym for SMTP would be send mail to people. Question six, Mike needs to receive emails from his boss, but does not know what port would support this. Which port should he use? 137, 139, 143, 88 or 636 and the best possible answer for this one is going to be 143 which is imap all right question seven what would be an insecure way to establish a remote terminal session into a switch we have 860 67 68 23 or 993 so an insecure way to establish a remote terminal session would be Telnet or port 23. Question 8. What port would be used to transfer a file to another server? We have 110, 2021, 88, or 993. And the answer for this one, which one we would use, is 2021 which is file transfer protocol. Question nine, which port turns domain names into IP addresses, which allows browsers to get to websites and other internet resources? So 
so we have 420 119 53 or 445 and the correct answer for this one is going to be 53 or dns question 10 the it manager of a company would like to have ip addresses automatically assigned to users when they join the network which port supports this we have 514 1433 6768 in 989 so the correct answer for this one is going to be 6768 which is dhcp or dynamic host control protocol question 11 which port would be used to collect data related to network changes to determine the status of network connected devices so we have 389 161 162 445 or 135 and what we're going to use for this is going to be 161 162 which is snmp all right question 12 a systems administrator needs to use a protocol that provides a means to manage user and group membership stored in active directory which protocol would best suit this need we have 69 389 67 68 or port 21 so the correct answer for this one is going to be ldap which is 389 okay question 13 jerry needs to use a protocol that allows applications on his computer to read and write to files and request services from server programs in his computer network which protocol best meets this requirement so we have 445 135 443 or 3389 so the correct answer for this one is going to be smb which is server message block or port 445 question 14 which protocol is an older email protocol that allows for receiving emails specifically not sending so we have 143 998 22 or 110 and an older older protocol that was used for receiving emails was pop 3 which is 110 and the last question question 15 a printing company needs to allow applications on separate computers to communicate and establish sessions to access shared resources such as files and printers and also to find each other over a local area network which protocol would help them achieve this so we have 135 137 139 21 or port 80 and the correct answer for this one is going to be 137 139 which is net bios network basic input basic output and that is all for this quiz guys those are all the ports that you're going to need to know for the comptia um, 1101 series uh, just make sure to remember those uh, write down the correct ones and just study those ones that you need to know uh, also know exactly what they're used for uh, I talked a little bit about that but not completely this was just going to be a little quick refresher just so you know which ports you need to know and what they're kind of used for um, if you did like the video please remember to like and subscribe it helps out greatly and I will see you guys in the next video